Come on. That's right. That's my girl. You're looking at yeah, one man's look at version it. of heaven on earth. Fresh air, the trust of a stepchild, a loving fiance who's five months pregnant. He has much to live for. Second chance right now is like a new life. It's a long way from where he's been and further still from the convicted killer that society made him out to be. That guy right there is me, Maurice Antoine Caldwell. It was a drug deal gone bad, a murder in San Francisco's Alemany projects in 1990. A witness behind a window said she saw Maurice Caldwell holding the shotgun. That sent him to state prison for 27 years to life, even as he defended his innocence. All I think about every day, how I was going to get myself out, why I was going to fight to, to come home. So maybe now you remember the day two years ago when Maurice Caldwell walked free after 22 years in prison. A judge had ordered a second trial due to an incomplete defense, a technicality. But that retrial never happened because of lost evidence and because that eyewitness had died. I got, I got out that day with, with hope, with, with excitement. Now? Now, I just, you know, hey, man, my life, you know, I just hope it get better. The world Maurice Caldwell returned to at 44 years old had changed from the one he knew at 22. He emerged from prison with no modern skills and a back injury that keeps him from working. As an exoneree, he's become more adapted to life behind bars than life in society. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not angry. I'm, I'm like devastated. Maurice's lawyer, Paige Kenev, works on such cases for the Northern California Innocence Project. She has heard such complaints from exonerees time and again. Exonerees don't get anything when they get out. I don't get nothing. I, I wouldn't, I don't, man, they haven't gave me nothing. They don't get counseling. They don't get housing. Not a bus card, not a phone number, not a direction, nothing. You get an apology? No, you don't, you don't get no apology, you know what I'm saying? You don't get nothing. The state does give money to people who've been wrongfully imprisoned, $100 a day. For Maurice, after all his time behind bars, that could total more than $700,000. But there's a catch. The process takes years, and he must appear before a state board, and he must prove his innocence. The problem is, the judge who released Maurice never dealt with that. It's unfair for so many reasons. It's unfair because he's already been so wronged. It's unfair because the state has already conceded that they cannot prove him guilty. But the system, as it stands, does have defenders. Among them, Caldwell's original prosecutor, Al Giannini, who still believes Maurice committed the crime, even though another man has confessed. I think he ought to count himself lucky that he got a break, that he did. And I really don't think the taxpayers need to give him a bunch of money on top of it. That's a game, you know? It's, it, uh, the DA will never admit that they did wrong when they know they was wrong. Two years out of prison, and this is Maurice Caldwell's postscript, a man with responsibilities on welfare, in limbo, and yet still relishing every simple pleasure. A guy who spends a lot of time on the couch watching crime dramas and living his own aftermath. We've never had this in prison. In Sacramento, Wayne Friedman, ABC7 News.